What's up, bros and hoes? My name's Optic Min. I bring you another gameplay commentary. You know how I do uploading daily on my channel. Sorry, this is not sniping gameplay. I uploaded some sniper gameplay on Monday, 30 and 1, with the intervention on Wasteland, pooping on kids' faces, even though girls don't poop. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought I'd just switch it up. I like to bring on a little ray gun gameplay once in a while. It's, I mean, I'm not claiming it to be like, oh my god, I'm such a beast with my ray gun. It's just it's just a gameplay. I'm gonna have uh, more sniper gameplay coming out on uh, Thursday or Friday this week. So excuse me for the change up. I hope you still enjoy. Anyway, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about FaZe Clan versus Optic Clan or Optic Organization, Optic Gaming. I don't even know what you want to call us, but um, the reason I want to do this commentary, I've kind of done a, a commentary similar to this one before, um, and I mean, it, it's ba that was back then before FaZe, like, it was it was pretty much right after Hex had done, like, that Sniper's Next with, uh, FaZe Fakey, I think he did it with, and, uh, you know, it's, it's coming to the point now where it seems like the YouTube viewership are so into comparing and, uh, you know, saying, Oh, optics better than phase, or phase better than optic, blah blah blah, and like fighting about it, kinda. And I mean, I get that there's two different teams that do pretty much two different things, even though the phase clan is kinda starting to. I mean, they're not gonna stop trick shotting, but I've noticed from the trend, and you know, I don't, I'm not subscribed to them really, but I do watch their videos, check them out, see, see what they're doing, you know, compared to what we're doing. And I don't think it's really fair to, to compare and try to you know, create tension between two clans that are, you know, you, you can't really compare what we're doing, really, and, and you can say all you want about active subs or how many views uh, a team gets, but what it comes down to is the fact that FaZe, to me, this is my opinion, right, I'm not trying to, like, step on anybody's toes, but to me, FaZe is a clan and OpTic is an organization. Um, what OpTic's accomplished as far as in the past since uh, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4 until now is incredible. I mean, if you look at what we're doing right now, we have an MLG team, a pro team of professional players that have uh, already taken back a trophy for us when, you know, just about a year ago, we, you know, Optic wasn't anything on the competitive scene pretty much. And now it's turned into we're, we're placing, you know, top three or even first at some of these MLG events winning a lot of money and um you know based on our like our sponsors and we're machinima premier director like we've come a long way from uh you know when when we had zero subs because we did have zero subs at one point and i've been in optic for over a year and i've seen how the organization has grown i've seen optic before phase i'd ever even heard of phase before anyone heard of phase really and that's not to take away from anything that phase does i think that phase um is doing whatever they want to do and i would never ever rag on a channel for doing something that they love to do. They obviously like trick shotting. I'm not really a big fan of trick shotting. You guys know that, but does that mean that I don't like them? No. I mean, I've played with some of the phase people, not all of them, but I've played with some of them and I think that that they're like really nice guys. Like they're a great group of dudes and they're doing their thing and I I'm I respect that, you know. I got nothing but respect for anybody that can take what they do, take what they love and turn it into success, which is what they've done. The part that I just don't really get is why people feel the need to compare, like, everything. I'm not even talking about phase versus optic. I'm talking about every single thing. They want to compare who went to phase instead of optic or who left phase to join optic. And what does that mean? Why, oh, well, Willie G left phase. That must mean the phase sucks and optic's amazing. Or, oh, Spratty decided to go to phase instead of optic. Optic sucks. Like, no, it's, it's all personal choice. I mean, there's different reasons for every decision. And... You know, a person's going to do whatever is going to, you know, help them out the most or fulfill themselves the most. Whatever makes them happy, pretty much, right? So, I don't know. I'm not going to really talk about, like, the whole Willie G phase, like, money situation because it's really not my business. Um, but that that was a thing that happened. And apparently, like, phases standards. I watched uh, Temper's video where he talked about how... They're not going to be using demo clips. They're not going to be using hardcore headquarters clips. They're not going to be doing flat ground 360s before they trick shot anymore. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. But, I mean, 
he's obviously trying to make their clan better, but I mean, I guess, what do you guys think about the expectations? I mean, Optic Nation has changed, if you guys haven't noticed within the last month. Um, there's no longer like, you know, so-and-so gameplays going up or so-and-so episodes. Like, it's all montages. It's all videos that took one to two weeks to make. Each upload is something that took a long time to make. And it's it's all about putting the effort into your videos. So, I don't know. I guess uh, leave an opinion, comment uh, below, and also answer the question of the day. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Mm -hmm.